Good afternoon, folks. Once again, this is Kurt from Broken Finger Gaming. I'm uh, gonna attempt to do a um, base uh, map for just to have on a backup if you need to build up a map real quick or build up a map um, terrain that um, you need a backup for in case you've kind of screwed everything up and you just want to go in there and start fresh without having to go through all the processes so here we go so what we're going to do is we're going to go to add project create new project you could actually name this anything you want so i'm going to call this one uh, base remember that uh, infusion doesn't like any spaces so make sure you uh, um, actually have uh, an underscore in there or something map and of course I'm gonna put my BFG in there all right just hit create and here we go all right so what's it it's gonna do it's gonna come up with your uh, launcher and you're gonna uh, double click on to uh, world editor all right and here we have the presentation of our default which is our world okay in here open it up so you can actually see what's going on okay but now we're back to the content so basically what you're gonna uh, see and or be faced with here is the hierarchy uh, of your default world terrain and all this other information that's uh, actually there this is going to get populated too as soon as we go so we are going to go down to the bottom of the bar, uh, this uh, page here, go down to create, and we're gonna go look for world, or actually generic, sorry, generic, generic, generic world entity. We're now gonna just drag and drop right here, okay? Next, we are gonna go and we're gonna drop in the back to create again <clears throat> and we're going to go into world light entity so this will pop this up okay and it'll be a bit of a, a flash and then it'll uh, slowly ease down and we go from there okay okay now we're going to want to go down to generic world ppe or ppe ppp default and we're going to take this and we're going to drag it inside there okay make sure you guys are uh, on page with uh, saving this so make sure you save this after you've done that it's going to scroll down you're going to scroll down to the map base that you've made it here so it's where i made mine is map base map bfg i'm going to make sure that is checked and i'm going to go underscore base underscore map okay so at least I know where this is and what it's labeled as okay so if you look at the top here it'll say base map is the directory and where it sits under basically nests under base map ENT all right okay next up here guys once you've actually saved your work go over to the right hand side here where it says cohorts you want to make sure that this is all uh, zeroed out so you can go 000 or you just hit this space here, reset to default value, and what you'll return it to zero. Then you hit save. What I like to do too is, um, just in case you guys don't know this, it's a little uh, little added tip here. Go for save all, okay? It just uh, helps you save your product or your, your, um, your map uh, in case there's any uh, kind of errors, anything that pop up on there, all right? Okay, so here we are again. We are going to be going over to uh, the generic terrain. You're going to right click that on the left hand side of the panel there. You're going to click down to the very bottom where it says create new terrain. Okay, now you can have this size to anything you want. Uh, uh, I would go big um, just for the fact that. Uh, if you want to have a, a large map, say for flying or um, anything that uh, you might want to do for jets and stuff like that, because the bigger the map, the more space you have. If you have a smaller map, it's kind of, it doesn't work as well as you think that it would. So um, just personal experiences. I would not change anything else. Just leave that the way it is and then hit uh, create. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Here we go. Now it's created. A nice little terrain for us 
Now, once again, you scroll your mouse forward to go faster, scroll your mouse back to go slower, okay? So here we are at the base of the map, all right? So at this stage of the game here, this is what you, where you would set up your um, your height map and your um, your uh, your sat map. Okay, <clears throat> um, it, it's actually it's, we're just doing the base map here, so I, I'm kind of avoiding all that right now because I can always add that in after. All right, so uh, if you stick if you stayed with me so far, um, we've actually gone to getting our base set up here once again. Uh, base map you can see we've got a nice little terrain there but say for instance uh, I want to go on the map and just uh, to do a little quick uh, test so uh, make sure you have on the bottom right there terrain selected okay check mark that box all right make sure you hit control s to save it at all okay now here's something that actually is um, not really noted by other youtubers out there I, I noticed that um, if I was to go to uh, camera where it says uh, camera base camera manager i found my personal experience is that camera manager does not work so if you're using the c or scr camera manager okay you could place that in there all right this allows you to actually join the map okay and and play on the map Control s all right it'll prompt you if you haven't yet saved it yet now I'll go up to the right here where it says uh, this little drop down you could go and play in full screen play from camera position use camera position as a return and use local storage obviously you want to keep all that the same okay so if yours doesn't look like this then you might be doing something wrong okay so make sure you just play boom all right so it should drop you in there yeah it's gonna be a little bit of a flash but you can see all right Let's see if I can do a grenade or a flash or smoke. Let's do smoke. Yeah, see it's dropping down. There's something else we're missing here, so we'll figure that out in a sec. Okay, after actually uh, looking at this, um, we forgot to add in Time Weather Manager. So, anyways, just drag that in there, and there we have it. It'll come up as a little bit of a dark area. Okay, then we're going to actually go over to the uh, other side. We're going to actually create the sky, render, volume, all that uh, other important stuff that we need. Okay, so just bear with me here. So once again, we are back here again. So uh, we're going to get the uh, um, sky preset, planet preset, and the sky cloud render with clouds, ocean, water, shore, and lens flare configuration. So first we're going to go to atmosphere. Atmosphere.emat. Click on that. Click OK. All right. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's nice. Now we're going to go over to the presets, which is, you're going to hit this uh, plus button, one, two, three, and the coordinate, the way it goes is sun, all the way down, and it says sun.emat, where are you, there we are, now we're going to go moon, Same thing, moon underscore zero one dot emat, click OK, and stars. Stars underscore zero one dot emat. Make sure you hit save. Okay, we're back here again, and we are just going to continue with the um, ocean, the water, the shore, and the lens flare. So Ocean simulation is going to be ocean. Simulation island dot emat. Okay. Now I've tried windy and I've tried nice. I've tried all these here and I've tried flat. Uh, this seems to be the best one. But if you want to have a, uh, a really weighty kind of um, 
motion, uh, especially if you're doing a nice uh, or a different uh, kind of scene or uh, scenario. You can actually change that in the map later on, which I've, uh, I've done but, and on test before. It's kind of kind of neat actually. You can actually get a little bit of waves in there. It's pretty cool. So click on Ocean Sim Island .emat. Water simulation is going to be bump. B U M P. Bump sim .emat. Okay. And of course you're gonna do this shore is shore. Okay. And of course lens flare is going to be lens flare. Dot config. Okay. So there we have that. Alright folks. Now you should see, actually make sure you hit save, save all your stuff. Now let's try this again with the player, which I've actually previously dropped in there because I didn't have any of that other stuff plot dropped in there. I kind of want to do a little test here, see if it actually worked. And, okay, let's do the grenade. Yep, there we go. Oh, no, didn't let it work. Somehow the sub is, base is way down below, so I'll have to figure that. Okay, so after uh, trial and error here, um, didn't take me very long to figure this out. But however, uh, once you've set all your your um, your config or your sun, all this, your terrain editor, um, your world, uh, the uh, shoreline, all that, you have to literally go force save all, and then of course it'll it'll uh, save it all. But you got to close out of it, and then come back into it again so <laughs> a little trick trials and errors okay so actually I tried this out you can see I'm getting some ricochets off there kind of cool and if I hit the grenade well we all know what happens with the grenade and let's be a stupid idiot and uh, yeah there we go we all know what happens there <laughs> BFG is no longer <laughs> okay so there we have it folks now you now have a base uh, folder you can actually save so if we wanted to save that I'll show you the real, real quick here so make sure we go file force save all and of course we can exit out of there and I always do the workbench save as well save all just to be on the safe side okay this is down at the bottom save successful okay now if I wanted to go into a folder where this is at uh, let's do this just drag this over here and of course documents my games armor reforger now you see it says base map here I got 90 98.6 uh, megabytes I could just drag that or copy of it put it onto my desktop and there we have it it'll just sit there okay so there you have it right there now if you want to go back and say you screwed something up and this is uh, somehow um, all messed up and you don't want to go through all that other stuff you can now just go back in here and there you have a base map you can actually start all over again all right folks I hope this helps uh, in uh, creating a little bit of a, of a shorter time but if you create this ahead of time, uh, trust me, um, if something happens to go wrong or you want to say you want to try a different map or a different layer, uh, it's probably the best way to do the test on, okay? Enjoy. Have a great day.